I'm running the um, 80cc um, bicycle motor here. I'm trying to remember what the name is. Moon something off of Amazon. There's all kinds of different vendors that sell pretty much the same motor. Um, this is my experimental banana pipe. Uh, when I say experimental, I'm changing the inlet of the pipe. They come... I had a three inches to this, but they come real cropped up here. Um, and for this particular install, it didn't fit very well. And when I first ran it stock, I had to curve it up. And it was shooting out its gook right here. And I was reading up on expansion chambers, and they're saying that they, if you change the inlet part, the longer it is, it'll change the RPM band. It'll raise where the power band is. So a little less mid-range, I guess, doing that. Um, we'll see. I, I've already run this once and it sounds great. And the funny thing is, is there's a LA hover guy who's from Louisiana was talking about the excess oil rolling out of your exhaust. If there'd be any way to make it hit on your chain somehow. Well, I nailed that one. I made sure I kind of dripped it over to the side. It, it will hit it for sure. Um, uh, I haven't run this for any significant period of time. I only ran it for a few minutes. And this is my experimental pipe. Once I figure out what runs really well, um, I'll buy another one and I'll have it professionally welded, cleaned up real nice. You, these don't work so bad. They're great. It really does change the power band on one of these uh, little motors. Um, I noticed a big difference from stock pipe to this one. Uh, one thing I really did, though, um, the porting on this, I cleaned it up really well inside. Even the scavenger ports here on the side, they didn't line up very well from s cylinder to the base of the case. They had a big overlap. So I went in there and cleaned it up really well, cut all the gaskets to fit the transition. And um, I'm quite pleased with the way it runs. Um, stock carburetor. When I first put it together, I had the stock air cleaner on it, and it just hesitated and sputtered. And it bothered me. So I, to figure out what it was, I, just in haste, one day I ripped off the uh, uh, air cleaner. And next thing you know, it ran terrific. It was like, wow. I've had to do a couple mods on this. I bent this the opposite direction because I wasn't getting enough clutch pull. It's got a precarious uh, alignment there, the clutch, but... It'll be all right. You know, for a hundred and some dollar motor, these, uh, these are pretty ma amazing. This is my second one. I used to have a 50cc probably 15 years ago. And it didn't have much umph at all. Um, I'm actually thinking of buying three of these new 80cc or maybe the 100cc. I'm not sure. More than likely, I'll buy this identical one. Three more. And I'm going to join them at the crank. Boom, boom, boom. And have three magnetos that are each kicking for each um, cylinder. And have me a bona fide triple two-stroke. 250, whatever, 240-something. That would be very interesting. I bet you I'd get 20 horse out of that, baby. That would be pretty interesting. It would be about a foot off to each side. Something like that. Anyways, I'll keep you posted.